So uh, I had a roommate in prison, and dude just complained every single freaking night about how uh, how he was there because of this girl. Girl called the cops on him. And I finally just got fed up with him one night, and I was just like, dude, what? Why would she call the cops on you then? <laughs> right. And he just kind of seemed stunned for a minute, and he's like, "Well, I hit her." And I go, "Maybe you're f-ing in jail because you hit her." Right. Yeah. So we have blinders on, like we we don't see what we did. We see what other people do that cause us to do whatever. But you can't control that. You can control you. That's it. Right. And it, yeah, it took me to that place where I had to hear, I had to be in prison with a bunch of people that absolutely blamed everybody else but themselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was that guy, right? I blamed the media. I blamed my hometown. I blamed my family. I blamed, uh, blamed the NFL. Uh, I blamed everybody, but, it, but never took any accountability on my own part. And so when that moment came, yeah, when I said, Ryan, you are here because of what you did, no one else, that, you said the word exactly, that's freedom right there. There's so many things you can point fingers at, and I did that for so long. Yeah. But it doesn't matter what anybody else did, what was my part in it? So same thing with, with that. Football was not the reason why. I'm the reason why. I'm the problem. That's why every stop I had, and I was in four places, and four teams gave me opportunities, and I was with Tony Dungy in Tampa Bay, which was the best possible place I could be in with him as a head coach, and I still found ways to pick it up. I was the problem. Yeah. I was just the problem, and so I needed to get right. And until I did get right, nothing was ever going to work out for me.